Ever wondered how researchers structure their studies? Well, this is where conceptual framework comes into the picture. It is the blueprint for your research, which will be connecting the theories, variables, and the expected relationships. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavya Shabu, founder of Research Dream, where we aim to provide you with research and technical support. What is conceptual framework? A conceptual framework visually represents the relationship between the key concepts in your study. It is based on the existing theories, models and literature guiding your research approach. Think of it as a roadmap that helps you explain what you are studying and why it matters. Now for example, if you take the Porter's Pfeiffer's model that has been developed in 1980 through which we can understand how the industry attractiveness works. The five elements that already exist are competitive rivalry, bargaining power of suppliers, bargaining power of buyers, threat of new entrants and threat of substitute product or services. Since this is an old theory, the five elements are not necessary that only these will result in industry attractiveness. So we want to add three more elements to this and find out how these elements actually work. So for the new model proposing, so we can add platform competition, network effect and also data driven economies. And then further, we can go for the model testing and understand. Conceptual framework can be developed using three simple steps. Step one, identify your key variables. Here, we have to identify the variables into two sections, that is the independent variables and the dependent variables. How to understand whether a variable is independent or dependent, you should understand the cause and effect relationship. If a particular variable is causing the particular effect, then that comes under independent variables and whatever effect is happening comes under the dependent variables. For example, if we take employee motivation and how it affects the job satisfaction. Therefore, employee motivation is your independent variable while job satisfaction is your dependent variable. Under employee in motivation, you can have different more variables that could come like the salary, work environment, leadership style, etc. Step 2. Defining relationship between variables. Now, once we have identified all these variables, next we have to see the connection. We know that all these independent variables will directly affect on job satisfaction, right? But what about the relationship between each independent variable? That also we can establish through different studies if possible. For example, if there is a study that says salary if given in a positive way could result in a positive work environment, that is one relationship. And also leadership style if taken in a positive attitude could re result in a positive work environment. So there also we have a relationship. So like this, we have to connect the different variables. That was your step two. After that comes the step three. Draw your conceptual framework. Once we have all the relationships identified with the variables, we can use smarter tools like Canva or online diagrams to create a flowchart. With that simple steps, you will have your own conceptual framework. Try it out and let me know in the comment section what your research topic is. If you are interested to have a consultation session with me, then ping me on my mail ID given here. And also check out my website to know more about the other services provided by us. Thank you.